Hello, my name's Robert Green. I'm a design engineer with Dyson. Uh, we're launching our new DC39 canister machine here. Uh, this is an exciting new design direction for us. It's the first canister machine with a ball on it. Now the ball technology is the same as our upright. It's all about improving maneuverability and stability of the machine. This comes from two parts. The first part is the steering chassis. So where the hose links to the front of the machine, we have a steering mechanism linking these two rollers. So as the machine is turned to the left or to the right, it turns the two wheels in the centre of the machine. The other thing we have is the ball technology allows us to bring the wheelbase, uh, as in the axle length, uh, much closer together and wrap them under the machine. So we have a, a shorter axle length between the two wheels on the back, the two ball shells on the back. We also have a shorter wheelbase between the steering mechanism and the rear ball section. In terms of the materials and finishes we use at Dyson, we obviously use a great range of materials. Our most common ones are ABS and ABS blends, such as PC ABS. Now, traditionally, uh, Dyson's always had a very strong association with the transparent bin. This is something that James actually had to fight for very, uh, very strongly early on in the products, as no one would believe that people wanted to see the dust and dirt they were collecting. Um, now, the bin is transparent, it's made from uh, a polycarbonate uh, grade. Um, great because it gives us the transparency, but it's also the strength that you expect from PC. We also use a lot of polypropylene, uh, various glass filled versions and uh, talc filled. We also uh, rely a lot on uh, painted finishes, so the cyclone packs are made from ABS and then we then um, prime and then spray them with a satin metallic finish.